my life I'll tell about the night we met And how my heart can't forget the way you smile at me I'd like the world to know the story of my life The moment when your lips met mine And that first exciting time I held you close to me The sorrow when our love was breaking up The memory of a broken heart Then later on the joy of making up Never, never more to part There's one thing left to do Before my story's through I'd like to take you for my wife So the story of my life can start And then Ask anybody who's had any success in their chosen profession, whether they be an architect or an engineer or an athlete, and I'm sure that they'll all have to admit that they couldn't have made it alone, and indeed, I'm no exception. There are many, many books from which I've torn pages over my 45 years in show business, many artists who have inspired me, and I'm delighted to have this opportunity to pay tribute to them and possibly conjure up a few memories of them with some of their songs. Now, first of all, I'd like to take you back many years to my hometown. We used to have an annual carnival, and I can still hear over the cold night air a most beautiful voice echoing through every back street in our town. It was the voice of a very young Perry Como. Now, he was a man who inspired me very much, not only with his singing, but also through the many years when I did my television programmes. And the song I remember from that period was called Till the End of Time. And I'll bet that when Mr. Chopin wrote his famous Polonaise, he had no idea that it would become such a popular hit song. Till the end of time Long as stars are in the blue Long as there's a spring and birds to sing I'll go on Till the end of time Long as roses bloom in May My love for you will grow deeper With every passing day Till the wells run dry And each mountain disappears I'll be there for you to care for you through laughter and through tears. So take my heart in sweet surrender and tenderly say that I'm the one you love and live for till the end. How many singers, I wonder, have been influenced by Nat King Cole? It's hard to imagine. Both as a singer and a pianist, he's left a tremendous legacy of music 
for to be enjoyed by generations of people all over the world. Now he started out in jazz in his home state of Alabama, playing around the clubs and so on, and then he went on to form his own group, the Nat King Cole Trio. I can well remember when I was a young musician in Dublin getting together with a couple of my friends and trying to reproduce something similar to the Nat King Cole Trio, and I'm sure youngsters were doing the same thing around the world. Now the story goes that it was in a kind of nightclub setting like this that Nat King Cole made his debut as a singer. He was playing and some fell in the audience who had obviously had too much to drink kept sort of pestering him to do a vocal version of Sweet Lorraine, which was the song in question they were doing. And finally, just for a bit of peace, he obliged and we're very glad that he did. Here's a song that he did way back with the trio. You can take the moon Gather up the stars and the robins that sing merrily. Put them in a box, tie them with a ribbon, throw them in the deep blue sea. You can take the flowers down in Lover's Lane and that sentimental poetry. Put them in a box, tie them with a ribbon, throw them in the deep blue sea. Not for me, all that stuff. The dream that ruined your sleep Not for me Had enough Love is one thing You can keep You can take the plans And the wedding bells And whoever says oh promise me Put them in a box Tie them with a ribbon Throw them in the deep blue sea Cause love and I We don't agree The dreams that ruin your sleep Not for me Had enough Love is one thing you can keep You can take the plans And the wedding bells And whoever says oh promise me Put them in a box Tie them with a ribbon Throw them in the deep blue sea Cause love and I When I was a child, you know, the ability to do a turn or, or sort of a, a party piece was considered a great asset, and it was very much part of our social lives in those days. I can well remember Burl Ives on the radio singing with his guitar, very simple little folk songs, and playing chords that a beginner such as myself could master. Little did I know at that time that I was going to have the great pleasure of not only meeting but working with the great man. And may I tell you a little story? He came to our house one night for dinner and after dinner he suggested he'd like to go and see our children who were in bed. Now the children were completely bewildered as this big bearded man sat there playing the guitar and singing for them. The sadness of it was they didn't have the faintest idea who he was and I've always described that little incident as the greatest waste of excitement I'd ever known. I felt like climbing into the bed myself so he could sing for me. Now I'm going to sing you a Burl Ives song that you won't immediately associate with him but he sang this for me at rehearsals and then added you can sing this when you're a little bit older well I'm a little bit older so here we go seems the snow is a falling a bit deeper these days and they're building the stairs a bit steeper these days and the town's really changing in so many ways. Time, time, time. The young folks are growing exceptionally tall. 
And the newspaper print is becoming quite small And the folks speak so softly You can't hear them at all Time, time, time The jokes don't seem as witty As the old jokes once were And the girls aren't half as pretty As I remember her And today in the park A young man called me sir Time, time, time Oh, I'm not quite as anxious For fame or success And my eye finds the girl With the plain white dress And I cling a bit longer To each warm caress Time, time So I breathe a bit heavy when I climb up a hill But what of it, my life now is much more fulfilled But they're tearing down buildings that I watch them build Now this would have been paradise to me many years ago. All these guitars on the one roof and all available to be played, whereas I would have been thrilled just to see a guitar up close. I just saw them in the movies and that was all. I wanted to show you this particular guitar here. That is known as a Macaferry, and that made jazz history in the hands of the legendary French gypsy Django Reiner, quite the most remarkable player. On the wall of my little attic room as a child, I can remember having a photograph of Django Reinhardt's left hand. It looked a bit like that. He had an accident, you see, so he played the guitar mainly with just those two fingers. I wanted to impress my dad with this amazing fact. <laughs> my dad was more interested, really, in John McCormick and Caruso and Geely, but I said, Dad, come and have a listen to this fellow play the guitar. So he just pleased me and listened. He was very impressed with the technique and so on. I said, but Dad, do you realise? He played all those notes with just two fingers of his left hand. <laughs> My dad said, yes, son, and I haven't had a listen to him. He said he only needs the one. He was Irish, too. <laughs> well, whether it's jazz or rock or folk or country music, so many guitar players for many, many decades owe a great debt of gratitude to a gentleman named Les Paul, because he was the man who invented the electric guitar. And this is the kind of instrument that he created, and he probably still plays even now. Now, not only did he invent the electric guitar, but he was also the man who introduced multi-track recording, which inspired a whole new generation of uh, musicians and arrangers and record producers. But strangely enough, as in the case of Nat King Cole, I first became aware of Les Paul way back in the 40s when he led a little trio, two guitars and bass. In those days, he accompanied many famous artists. And I found a record which was made on the 12th of July, 1945, and the singer at the microphone was... Bing Crosby. Kiss me once and kiss me twice Then kiss me once again It's been a long, long time Haven't felt like this, my dear Since I can't remember when It's been a long You'll never know how many dreams I've dreamed about you Or just how empty they all seem without you So kiss me once and kiss me twice Then kiss me once again It's been a long, long time
Kiss me once and kiss me twice, then kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. Haven't felt like this, my dear, since I can't remember when. It's been a long, long time. You'll never know how many dreams I've dreamed about you. Or just how empty they all seem without you. So kiss me once and kiss me twice, then kiss me once again. It's been a long, long time. You know, these places can really bring back memories, can't they? Now, for you, it was probably the Saturday hop and dancing the night away with your favourite partner. But on the contrary, for me, it was up there night after night for hours on end watching people go round and round and round like the ingredients inside a food mixer. Another thing I remember, of course, especially from Ireland, was the smell of ballrooms. Because what they used to do was mix scraped up candle grease and paraffin and sprinkle it on the floor and that made the floor nice and shiny for the dancers. It was the era of course of the big bands and we who did the vocals on stage used to copy all the most popular singers. The girls would copy Joe Stafford and Kay Starr and the fellows would copy Sinatra and Dick Hames. Now I just loved Dick Hames. I thought he was a great ballad singer and he sang with all the top bands in America, most notably I suppose Harry James, at which time he was Mr. Sinatra's greatest rival. Now Dick Hames was guaranteed to make the ladies swoon so it was quite fashionable to sort of try to do your Dick Hames voice. So tell you what, I think I'll put on my dinner jacket and do it now. It was a lucky April shower It was the most convenient door I found a million dollar baby In a five and ten cent store The rain continued for an hour I hung around for three or four Around that million dollar baby In a five and ten cent store She was selling china And when she made those eyes I kept buying china until the crowd got wise And incidentally If you should run into a shower Just step inside my cottage door And meet the million dollar baby From the five and ten cent store Selling China, and when she made those eyes, I kept buying China until the crowd got wise. And incidentally, if you should run. 
Just step inside my cottage door And meet that million dollar baby From the five and ten cent store I feel sure that many of you had your first experiences of making your own music with the assistance of one of these simple little mouth organ. I well remember personally driving my family absolutely crazy with endless renditions of my first party piece, which went. <laughs> one of those and the parlor radio were my source of musical enjoyment for quite a long time quite a long time. I loved to listen to the radio, and one of the things I loved on the radio was vocal groups. My friends, my school friends and I used to try to reproduce the sounds made by the Mills Brothers and the Ink Spots and so on. And strangely enough, it was in a vocal group that one of the most distinguished singers, certainly of my lifetime, was to have one of his first big breaks. Together with two gentlemen, uh, Harry Barris and Al Rinker, the great Mr. Crosby formed a group called the Rhythm Boys, which was a group within the Paul Whiteman Orchestra. Now, it's very difficult to choose a Crosby song with all the hundreds, thousands of them that he did through his career. So what I'd like to do is go right back to those Rhythm Boys days. And we haven't got my school friends to make the sounds with me, but we have got that Les Paul multi-track technique that I was talking about. So I'll sing all the parts myself and play the harmonica. The song, incidentally, is about dancing on the Mississippi mud. We haven't got the Mississippi either, but I'm sure we can settle for the Thames. Mississippi mud. Oh, what a dance do they do? Lordy, how I'm telling you that they don't need no band. They keep the time by clapping their hands, just as happy as a cow chewing on the cut when the people beat the feet. When the people beat the feet on the Mississippi mud. Lordy, how they play it. Goodness, how they sway it. Uncle Joe, watch him go. Feet on the Mississippi mud. Oh, what a dance do they do? Lordy, how I'm telling you that they don't need no band. They keep time by clapping their hands, just as happy as a cow chewing on the cut when the people beat the feet. When the people beat the feet on the Mississippi mud. Just 
was happy as a cow Chewing on the cut when the people beat the feet When the people beat the feet on the Mississippi mop When the people beat the feet, when the people beat the feet When the people beat the feet on the Mississippi mop I'm sure that you've noticed that up to now I've only spoken about male singers, but I can assure you I'd like to pay tribute to just as many female singers, but I just can't get the high notes. If I was to ask to make a choice, I'd mention people like Dionne Warwick and Carly Simon, and of the older school, Rosemary Clooney, Doris Day, and I think my all-time favourite was Peggy Lee. Now, the Peggy Lee song that's closest to my heart is one that I feel quite sure she remembers from her very early childhood. So what I'd like to do is link it up with one that I recall my parents singing while I was still a very young lad. If she comes around, so you'd better be going Cause I wouldn't leave my little wooden hut for you I don't want to play in your yard I don't love you Be sorry when you see me swinging on my garden door. You can't come and pick my pansies. You can't climb my apple tree. No, I don't want to play in your yard. If It's difficult to keep the numbers down when it comes to thanking artists who brought you pleasure, but we'll press on. I wanted you to see this. We could just taken it out of storage and given it a little dust off. Now, it was specially made for the television shows quite some time ago and was affectionately known as the duet seat. I shudder to think of the famous posteriors that have been parked there. The poor thing nearly gave up the ghost the night we had Harry Seacombe on. It also reminds me of the constant search week after week for suitable duets to do with the guests. But luckily, there were composers who always sort of came to the rescue. Neil Sadaka was one of them. He's not here at the moment, so I'll simply have to sing a duet with myself. Baby, it starts to rain, it begins to pour. Without an umbrella, we're soaked to the skin. I feel a shiver run up my spine. I feel the warmth of her hand on mine. Ooh, I hear laughter in the rain, walking hand in hand with the one I love. 
the happy way I feel inside. After a while, we run under a tree. I turn to her and she kisses me. And there with the beat of the rain on the leaves, softly she breathes and I close my eyes. Sharing our love under stormy skies. Ooh, I hear laughter in the rain, walking hand in hand with the one I love. Happy way I feel inside. Ooh, I hear laughter in the rain, walking hand in hand with the one I love. Ooh, how I love the rainy days and the happy way I feel inside. Looking back, I suppose it was mainly American artists who impressed me in the early days, but that was to change. In the 50s, while I was travelling around with the music halls in shows something like this with comics and jugglers and acrobats, I was one of this group here, actually. <laughs> uh, that was when I first became aware of the sophisticated sound of Matt Monroe. Now, Matt started out as an army tank instructor, then he took up the singing, and he went on to sell 23 million records and appear all over the world. Now, for those of us who watch Matt, he was up there with the Americans, and we all hope that maybe one day, with a bit of luck, we might do the same. So I'd like to pay tribute to Matt with this song, and having known Matt as a family man, I'm surely be highly amused by the bit of video we're going to show while I'm singing this. <laughs> Like an angel walks She talks Like an angel talks And her hair Has a kind of curl To my mind She's my kind of girl She's wise Like an angel's wife with eyes like an angel's eyes And a smile like a kind of pearl To my mind she's my kind of girl Pretty little face, that face just knocks me off of my feet Pretty little feet She's really sweet enough to eat She looks like an angel looks She even cooks like an angel cooks And my mind's in a kind of world Because to my mind she's my kind of girl
little face That face just knocks me off of my feet Pretty little feet She's really sweet enough to eat She looks like an angel looks She even cooks like an angel cooks And my mind's in a kind of world Because to my mind she's my kind of girl Yes, my life's in a kind of world Cause to my mind she's my kind of girl When you think how far away we are from the Wild West, both culturally and geographically, it's an amazing thing what a big part has played in our lives. Now, to older people, you mentioned the Saturday matinee at the cinema, and I have no doubt they'll think of Gene Autry and Roy Rogers and coming out afterwards into the sunshine and galloping all the way home for your tea. When I first came to London in the early 50s, I was a member of an Irish singing group. And first of all, we did a series on BBC called Riders of the Range on Sundays. Then we did a series called The Texas Cowboy. And looking back, it's so odd to think of four Irish fellas sitting in a studio in London pretending to be musical bunkhouse boys. But the singing cowboy thing went right on, and I suppose nowadays we call it country music. And that, to many people, is epitomised by the gentle singing of people like Jim Reeves. Now, I'm told that Jim Reeves didn't choose to be a singer, first of all. In fact, if it hadn't been for an unfortunate leg accident while playing for the St. Louis Cardinals, he could have gone on to be a very successful professional baseball player. I'm sure his fans are delighted the way things turned out, because before his tragic death, he left us some wonderful songs. Put your sweet lips a little closer to the phone Let's pretend that we're together and alone I'll tell the man to turn the jukebox way down low And you can tell your friend there with you He'll have to go Whisper to me Do you love me? Tell me true Or is he holding you The way I do Though love is blind Make up your mind I've got to Should I hang up or will you tell him he'll have to go? You can't say the words I want to hear while you're with another man. If you want me, answer yes or no, darling, I will understand. But you're sweet. A little closer to the phone Let's pretend that we're together and alone I'll tell the man to turn the jukebox way down low And you can tell your friend there with you He'll have to go can't say the words I want to hear while you're with another man. If you want me, answer yes or no. Darling, I will understand. Put your sweet lips a little closer to the phone. 
Let's pretend that we're together and alone. I'll tell the man to turn the jukebox way down low. And you can tell your friend there with you, he'll have to go. Yes, you can tell your friend there with you, he'll have to go. That tradition of singing folksy kind of songs with a guitar that I admired so much in Borough Lives all those years ago happily has gone on and on and still is very much in the vogue today. Through the 60s and 70s, a whole new batch of very talented people came along, people like James Taylor and Paul Simon and Jim Croce and John Denver, and they certainly supplied me with some wonderful material for my television shows, and I'm sure they're going to inspire many, many singers in the future. Here's a little song by one of my favorites. His name is Gordon Lightfoot. There's a house on a hill By a worn down weathered old mill And in the valley below where the river winds There's no such thing as bad times There's a soft southern flame An old cotton Jenny's her name And she wakes me up when the sun goes down And the wheels of love go around Wheels of love go around Love go round, love go round. What a joyful sound. I ain't got a penny for a cotton jenny to spend, but then the wheels go round. I go down to the cotton gin and I make my time worthwhile to them. Then I climb back up again and she waits by the door. Oh, cotton Jenny, I'm sore and she rubs my feet when the sun goes down and the wheels of love go around. Wheels of love go around. Love go What a joyful sound I ain't got a penny for a cotton jenny to spend But then the wheels go round In the hot, sickly south where they say, well, shut my mouth I can never be free from the cotton grind But I know I've got what's mine She's a soft southern flame An old cotton jenny's her name And she wakes me up when the sun goes down And the wheels of love go around Wheels of love go around Love go around What a joyful sound I ain't got a penny for a cotton jenny to spend But then the wheels go round The wheels go round The wheels go round One of the most profound changes in my career happened in the mid-60s with my own television series. 
And at the beginning, it came from an old converted church in a place called Dickinson Road up in Manchester. And in fact, quite a few BBC shows started up there, Top of the Pops, the old Harry Worth programme, and so on. And for quite some time, it was also the home to probably the first British singer to have his own Perry Como-type music show, Michael Holiday. So I owe him a vote of thanks for sort of blazing the trail and making that slot available for me when I came along later. It was also the place where I met my little friend here, and that was the beginning of a wonderful friendship. So I'd like to end this tribute by not only saying thanks to Michael Holiday, but to all the other singers I've mentioned with this final song. Someday I'm gonna write the story of my life I'll tell about the night we met And how my heart can't forget the way you smile at me I'd like the world to know the story of my life The moment when your lips met mine And that first exciting time I held close to me The sorrow when our love was breaking up, the memory of a broken heart Then later on the joy of making up, never never more to part There's one thing left to do before my story's through I'd like to take you for my wife so the story of my life can start and then with you. a broken heart then later on the joy of making up never never more to part there's one thing left to do before my story's through i'd like to take you for my wife so the story of my 